Hello Assassins, welcome to the conclusion of the Nikolai Orlov life story. I am It's Ron CSD, and this video will cover Nikolai's later life right up until his death in 1928. For the next few years, Nikolai lived in a safe area with his son in a cabin in the woods near Manchester. They scrapped together a life cutting down trees and hunting the wildlife in the forest. In 1928, Nikolai was tracked down by his former assassin brother Sergei, who was sent to retrieve Nikolai by the mentor as the assassins claimed ownership of the staff's shard and the knowledge of Nikolai's vision at Tunguska. After Sergi threatened Kenya's, Kenya's life, Nikolai attacked him and strangled him to death. Nikolai then discovered an FBI badge in Sergi's pocket and realized that more assassins would come after him. Over the course of the next few days, Nikolai began, began training Kenya in combat and stealth in the hope that they might be well prepared for the invitable. Nikolai's training consisted of himself being Kenya's practice target, and his harshness often resulted in Inokenti slash Kenya being forced to sleep outside with a meager meal upon his failures. One day, when Kenya was able to overpower his father, he managed to hold in his knife at Nikolai's throat. Nikolai threw his son, knew his son was ready and strong and together they began to prepare for the oncoming assassin attack. Part of these plans involved the pair abandoning their cabin since they had rigged it with explosives as a result. When the team of assassins arrived, one of them attempted to open a window, which caused the cabin to explode and leave only five assassins alive. Next, when the assassins tracked down Nikolai and Kenya's makeshift camp in the woods, Nikolai was able to rapidly kill three of the assassins, though he was shot in his right leg by the fourth one. As one of the assassins held Nikolai at gunpoint, Kenya snuck up on him from behind and stabbed him in the neck, saving his father's life. From there, the two proceeded to make their escape, coming to a halt at the cliff. Nikolai told his son to throw a rope to the other side and use his rifle to slide down in a makeshift zipline. As Nikolai prepared to follow his son, he was shot in his left foot by the remaining assassin and with both his legs wounded, Nikolai was left at the assassin's mercy. Holding Nikolai up by his shoulders, the assassin yelled out to Kenya and revealed that his sister was still alive, though Nikolai denied the assassin's claims and told Kenya to be strong. To this, Kenya understood his father's intention and shot him, killing both Nikolai and the assassin. So that was the end of Nikolai Orlov. That marks his death in 1928. And that concludes the series, guys. So I pray, hope, really hope you enjoyed the Nikolai Orlov life story video series that I started back in December 2012. But I actually had to uh, continue the series because I realised I didn't cover the, his later life and death, as in I did, as like I did in this video. And the video that I, which I put out on the twentieth, the twentieth of June this year. So I don't know when this video will be up, but as soon as it's up. As soon as it is uploaded, hope you guys enjoy it because, you know, Nikolai is really cool, but he did abandon the assassins because he did want to have a peaceful life of his own, but he kind of knew once he left the assassins, he abandoned, abandoned them and moved to America, he knew he would be followed. The assassins are everywhere, so is the Templars, so there's really no escape from these these here factions. So guys, I, I, really, I don't want to hope... Uh, waste your time too much listen to me going on forever so i really hope you enjoyed the series if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel for more high quality assassin's creed content coming in the future all links to my all ways to connect to me will be in the description below a link to the nikolai orloff life story playlist will be in the, the description below and if you have any more questions use the social links below any way to get in contact with me, I will be happy to answer them. It may, I may not be able to answer them instantly, but rest assured, I will answer them as soon as I can and whenever possible. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video series of Nikolai or Love's Life Story. And my name is Ron and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye for now. And remember to stay in sync with It's Ron and Safety and peace, my friends. Take care, and bye for now.